Tackling air pollution at source is easier said than done. <coughs> For example, if your own yard is being cleaned and the dust is troublesome, you simply walk over to the source and deal with the problem. But what if the source of pollution is across the street? Your neighbor may be burning garbage in his yard, but air pollution doesn't care about boundaries. So the smoke insists on coming towards you. Now, what do you do? Simple. You approach your neighbor, explain your problem, and request him to cooperate. But what if you have multiple sources of pollution around you? Some neighbors may burn garbage, others may sweep their yards, or construct new homes. They could be traffic jams around your neighborhood, a power plant just outside your city, and crop stubble being burnt in a nearby district. The combined effect of all these pollutants impacts every resident in that area, including you. The common geographic area where pollutants get trapped and create similar air quality for everyone is called your airshed. The size of your airshed can be large. It could include nearby cities, states, even countries. So, to tackle the issue of air pollution, the first step is to understand what airshed you are in. And step two is to find out the major sources of air pollution around you. India has multiple airsheds. Among them, the densely populated Indo-Gangetic Plain is one of the world's largest and most polluted airsheds. One of the most dangerous pollutants across India is PM2.5. As the name suggests, this is extremely fine particulate matter, just 2.5 micrometers in diameter or even smaller. These particles are so light, the wind can carry them high and to far off places. And they are really tiny just one thirtieth the width of human hair. This means they can easily enter the lungs and bloodstream and then wreak havoc, severely damaging vital organs, causing serious diseases and posing a huge threat to life. Most people think PM2.5 is only an urban problem caused by vehicles, power plants and construction work in big cities. In reality, severe health impacts from PM2.5 are felt across most of India's smaller cities as well as villages. Even when the air appears cleaner in summer, PM2.5 particles can still be present in high concentrations. A significant portion of PM2.5 pollution comes from secondary sources generated by chemical reactions between different gases. For example, certain gases emitted by vehicles and power plants mix and rise high above into the atmosphere, spreading over cities and nearby rural areas. In villages, sources like urea fertilizer and animal waste release ammonia into the atmosphere. All these gases react together to produce new, fine particles called secondary PM2.5. These particles travel with the wind over long distances and affect both rural and urban areas. This exchange of pollution creates airsheds with similar air quality across a large region. So, to effectively tackle air pollution, we need strategies to address it at the airshed level. And based on those strategies, we need focused interventions at the local level. This requires a collective effort across the entire airshed. Villages, cities, states, involving governments, civil society and the private sector. Because air pollution doesn't limit itself to boundaries of any kind. Neither should its solution. <laughs>